Hey guys, this is another video in our quick mini series about how to streamline your Instagram work and be more successful on Instagram. So this video is all about helping you be successful on Instagram. And as with before, this entire series focuses on three main objectives. So the first one is of course, how to grow faster on Instagram. Everybody wants to do that. You see that all over the place, but the second two are a little bit more unique. So the second one, I wanna talk to you a little bit more about how to be more effective on Instagram and more efficient. So rather than sitting there and scrolling and typing and wasting all of your time, if you're running an Instagram business, it's very important to be as efficient and effective as possible. So spending less time to post more content, to be more engaged with less of your own effort will allow you to scale to a much larger size. Now, the third thing we're going to be talking about is how to properly monetize on Instagram. So how to make more money with the posts and with the content you already have. Of course, if you're running a business, monetizing correctly is unbelievably important for your success, and I think you can imagine exactly why. So this video in particular, enough with that long intro, we're talking about Instagram videos. So unless you lived under a rock for the past how many years, you probably noticed that Instagram has evolved quite a bit. Instagram is no longer just a photo app. You don't just go on there and see photos. I don't know what it's like for you guys, but for me, my Explore page is loaded with videos. There are really three different kinds of videos on Instagram, and if you're not capitalizing on them, then you're missing out on a huge growth opportunity. So, the three types of videos on Instagram, the first one is just posting a standard video as if you were posting a photo. That's pretty standard. You know, they used to be 15 seconds, you can have a longer video now. So Instagram is promoting that. It's something that Instagram likes. The second way to post videos is on Instagram stories. And the third one is kind of that weird limbo zone right now, which is IGTV that it's kind of up and coming a little bit, but no one really knows exactly what's going to happen. So no matter which one you're using, this video is very important for you. So I wanna show you first, I wanna show you how to set up a thumbnail for your videos. If you're posting just on your regular, you know, on someone's feed, they wanna see a thumbnail first or on your page, they'll see your thumbnail. The second thing is how to edit and export. So. So that was actually kind of a long intro and I apologize for that, but I kind of needed to say all that to set the grounds for what we'll be talking about in this video. And so I'm gonna jump over right now to Adobe Premiere Pro. That's what I use. If you use anything else, it doesn't matter, still continue watching because you can use any program to use these settings to do the same stuff that I'm about to show you guys and to set up the thumbnail for an Instagram video. So here we are on Adobe Premiere Pro and you'll see over here I imported two things, a very simple video. You can make complicated ones, I just have a video of me in a helicopter in Miami. Seems like a good thing to post on Instagram. And then I have a thumbnail. Now I totally half-assed this thumbnail. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I didn't spend any time on this one, but you guys should. So when you're making your thumbnails, I recommend using either PowerPoint or using Canva.com. So two great sources to just sort of accentuate what your video is going to be. So if someone's scrolling through their Explore page or through your page or through their own feed, they're going to wanna see you know, something eye-catching. It's gonna make them watch your video and engage and ultimately become a follower of your account. So every account, of course, is going to be so different. If you're doing an outdoor one, maybe you wanna have a lot of saturation. Maybe you wanna have you know words hidden behind branches. If you're doing a car one, maybe you want some really sleek words on there. Maybe you want a specific picture on the front. You know, whatever this, whatever it might be for you, it's important to have a thumbnail. So you wanna make your thumbnail the correct size, the right aspect ratio that your video is going to be because I recorded this video with a typical DSLR, just 1080p sideways like that. So 1080 by 1920, not really good for Instagram. So what you wanna do is set the thumbnail to the proper dimensions and then click on that and drag it over to create a timeline. Now, when you create that timeline, it automatically sets it to that those dimensions. So this is 720 by 720. That way, when I click and drag my video over, you'll notice that it crops it down to 720 by 720. Uh, I actually lied. I think that this video right here is not 1080. I think this one might actually be 4K. Um, not quite positive, but I'm gonna wanna zoom out on this. So, you know, I'll do a little bit of editing here. I'll do some color grading. I'll do some, you know, some trimming and I'll make it the right length. And then I'll show you guys in a second what that's gonna look like. So the way I typically set up a thumbnail, as you see here, this is like four seconds of my thumbnail image in the beginning. We obviously don't want that. So I trim it down to really just the first one or two frames, maybe the first quarter second, it doesn't matter, as long as it's very brief in the beginning. So 
the way that I set a thumbnail in typically, or most of my videos, I think it's easiest if you just incorporate it in the video and you put it in the very beginning. That way people don't notice that it's even there. They think it's a thumbnail. They think it disappears when they start watching. And that first quarter second, they probably don't even notice. So that's typically what I'll do. And so I'll trim this down right now to, I don't know, as short as possible, just a couple frames, quarter second, half second, it doesn't matter. And then the rest of my video adds up to 56 seconds. I'm gonna export this. So exporting this is actually very important that you do this correctly so you don't screw up your video so that it works properly. You don't want black space on either side. So I'm just gonna say Control M right here. That's the hotkey to export in Adobe. If you're using something else, I'm sure the settings will be pretty similar. And so basically the format, I use H.264. That's what my YouTube video right now is. That's typically what I'll use when exporting videos. Then unfortunately there is no preset for this. You go down, you don't see an Instagram one. Maybe next year there will be, maybe 2021 there will be a preset for Instagram. I hope there is. I hope that they finally, you know, update this to have that. You normally it's just YouTube, Facebook, whatever. But on the top, you see match source, high bit rate. That's what I'll be using just because I'm using a square video right now and I want to make sure that it matches the source correctly. Uh, and then when you go down here, you'll see height and width. You want to make sure that these are correct. You want to make sure you don't have any black space on either side. So 720 by 720, that's obviously going to be the square right here. And that's exactly what we want, for my video at least. So what I found to be the best way to get this video onto Instagram then is actually just uploading this from my phone. So I'll transfer the video to my phone and then I'll upload it from my phone onto the Instagram app. I haven't had a lot of luck uploading videos from my laptop here. It sort of has been a struggle for me at least. So I showed you in the last video how to upload photos on your laptop, it works very well. Unfortunately videos, maybe it's just my laptop, comment down below if it works for you. It hasn't been working for me though. Uh, so anyway, if you're interested in posting photos on your laptop though, I will link the video like right, I'll, I'll put it right there. Guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.